Look, team loaded just like Lux LaBuddy, you gon' get this work. Wow. Yeah, I need me a straight jacket, cause you know I'm going zerk. Hit stick crazy, now watch me put them in the dirt. Ooh. Test my user, you gon' feel it's getting lurk. Yeah. Hey, first quarter, put up 30 on that boy. 30. Add him to the highlight tape, I'm getting dirty on that boy. Ooh. Stick work up on the catch, I'm getting swervy on that boy. Don't heat me up to play no games, no. don't disturb me with that noise, cause you capping. Cow. You beating me like a unicorn, it won't happen. Ah. Poetry in motion on that field, I get to snapping. I make it look easy, cause I do this on the norm. norm. When you hear that alarm, get out the way, cause they're go. Eh. Do you love the Lord? Well, if you do, man, head on over to UT Nights, man. Use code form to get 5% off all your muck coin needs, bro. And get the God Squad that Jesus wants you to have, man. And, and just keep supporting me by buying coins, boy, for I catch you in a dark alley and beat plasma out your ass all all all, all praise due to jesus man go do what jesus wants you to do man use code form at checkout and get five percent off all your muck coin needs god bless what's happening doggy bone man we back on the madon with a couple of pieces of the madon finna madon man uh, uh if you're watching this video after you uh, fi finish this video, head on over to Twitch because I am probably live on Twitch right now. You hear me? So let's get ready to get into a couple of pieces of Madonna, man, and talk what we need to talk about. Now let's see what dog in, man. Too strong. Okay, a couple of pieces of bullshit cocky. Figured in me. How y'all boys Thanksgiving was, man? Mine was schmoo. Uh... I wanted to do some Black Friday shopping, but I'm not a fan of that, bro. Niggas be doing the most. They be wilding out in, in them little dirty-ass Walmarts, bro. So I don't really be uh, I'm more of a, I'm a more of a Cyber Monday type ninja. You feel me? I'm more of a Cyber Monday type ninja, man. Go get him. Go get him. Oh, damn, his mic fast. Ooh, shit. He got full maxed out mic or something? Blow that up. Shit. Okay, all right, all right, all right. This nigga nasty. He really trying to bring Ofo Mike Vick back, man. And you know the crazy part? I don't think a lot of y'all niggas really... Let me get that. Who's up? Who's up? And this nigga hurrying up. I don't think a lot of y'all really realize how OP Ofo Mike Vick was, bro. I didn't know. This motherfucker got jukebox on, on Vic. <laughs> Y'all don't really realize how OD this like. I, I wasn't even playing mad back then. I just remember. Oh, fo, I was a junior. I was a junior in high school, bro. And I don't know about y'all, but in black schools, towards the end of the year, ain't no, can this nigga fumble? Ain't no work getting done. Like, with the last couple weeks of school, it's just good. Once once finals get done and grades are turned in, them last two weeks of school ain't shit but a good time. It, uh, if you head on over to that back stairwell, a lot of sexual pumps is being had on that back stairwell. Uh, you going to the favorite teacher's class. For us was a lady named Ms. Riley. It's a lot of black -or jack being played in there. This is... This is back when I did gamble, so we was in that boy Black or Jack for the Munyons. Damn, why I'm talking so loud? <laughs> but yeah, we was running Black or Jack for the Munyons, sexual pumps on that back stairwell. It was just a good time. So one of the kids, not one, nigga was my cousin. Uh, he brought in Madden, old foe, and the time was had, my boy. Let me tell you. So, yeah, he bring in a Madonna. At the time, I don't even know me and dog as cousins. You know what I'm saying? Um, he bring in a Madonna. We in Miss Moss classroom. Miss Moss was the journalism teacher. You know what I'm saying? And I used to write for the free press. Like, they had a little free press. This nigga, D-line, using a little hoe. They had a uh, free press for, like, for teenagers. And I used to write. I actually got, like, three articles posted in the free press. But, uh... Yeah, so he bring it in there. She's the wife of the football coach. So all the football, they're like Miss Moss, one of the cool teachers. You go chill in her class. She she was cool. She was she was cool. You know what I'm saying? 
So we in there throwing laser beams. They uh they playing the Madden. Uh, and I'm like, shit, let me go over here and see what it's about, boy. I hopped on that Madon. I ended up losing like 7-0. I, I don't know why. I just always had a knack. I've always had a knack for being able to play Madden. Like, I, di I didn't play Madden at all. I just picked it up and played that day just because everybody was playing. I had to touch it out if I didn't have such bad pocket right there. And I didn't really know about the cheese of Madden like he did. Nigga was running around crazy with Mikey Alvin. But that's when I realized, like, I realized in that moment, like, I probably could play that game if I wanted to because certain shit to me just made sense. Like, I didn't know about all the nanos and all the crazy shit in the game, but it was like, yo, they so crazy uh, with running to the outside. Let me try to just outside contain. You know what I'm saying? Because for me, Madden is like, it's like the simplest game in the world, but it's the hardest to play. Because it's simple as in, okay, he's uh he's escaping to the outside. Let's fight, find some outside containment. In order for us, let me get that. Damn, why that was a terrible animation. But yeah, in order for me to have outside containment, I need to figure out what I need to do. Let me go and see if I got super fast players on my depth chart and sub them in and just have them eat blitz from far outside to help keep them in the pocket. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't pros and no shit like that. But it, it, it also applies <laughs> uh, to, to, to Madden till this day. A lot of y'all be uh, struggling with the game when common sense just, it doesn't really exist. You know what I'm saying? When a lot of, with a lot of people in a lot of their struggles, you, you, you struggle with defending corner routes, but, you, but when we play, you sit in a, a cover three shell. And you're wondering why you're getting cooked by corner routes and seams. Well, you're in the cover three shell, and I'm and I'm getting dirty with Mikey L. Vic. His Mike Vic is way faster than mine. But yeah, you're wondering why you're getting cooked in this shell because one, you 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 haven't learned how to really adjust in the game. And this game is all about adjustment. So you're in a cover three shell, but you have not figured out. How to uh, protect the most vulnerable areas in a, in your in your cover three shell? You know what I'm saying? Oh, Doug, I keep getting bombed one play touchdowns, but you in you in you in a stock cover four. Especially this year, super easy to bomb cover four. Super easy, bro. Uh, for the new offense, I found that that was the first thing I found in the, in the new offense was a cover four bomb. All right, I'm going to motion him out. I, I should, damn, I should have motioned him out. I should beat him to the corner. <clears throat> but, yeah, bro, it's like, you know what I'm saying? So, I always just had a neck for the Madonna, even when I wasn't playing it, because I'm an overthinker, a grossly overthinker, bro. So, anything that's Madden-related, when I get on the game, it's easy for me to, like, think of solutions, but the hard part is actually figuring out how to make them solutions work. Like, I'll give you a perfect example. Like, say you playing against somebody. Is Let's say it's just Bunch. And, and I'm going to keep it a buck. This is very simple. Um, and, and I thought, damn, I thought he was going to uh, Mikey Al, bro. Yeah, he, yeah he, he, he got maxed out Barry and Mike Vick. This nigga been grinding. I know, like, I, I, I should have looked at his Vick for y'all, but... Um, his Vic is, his Vic fat, way faster than mine, and god damn, alright, EA? E, 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 Dang! Stupid game, boy, throw something. I didn't even get to make my point before this nigga scored, bro. He scored in record timing, man. But yeah, say if you uh back to my point before the nigga scored at that amazing time. Say you playing against like a a, a bunch, right? And, and and in the bunch he's like killing you, destroying all type of happiness that you have with corner routes and you sitting in that cover three share. Well well, if your main thing is okay, I need to take away this goddamn corner route, especially in a year where man defense is, is it's still very decent at this point. Common sense will say, all right, let's man up the corner route. And we're not even talking about before we get to zone drops because you can still throw a corner route at a 25. You know what I'm saying? 
especially if you don't if you don't know which uh zone which zone drive if you go in purples if you go in clouds whatever you can still throw it and get over top of it so i'm just saying if you just want to immediately take it away the first thing should be let me man it up and you'd be surprised how many people just get killed by uh corner routes over and over and over god lee he got bumped something crazy before they just man the shit up my pocket presence is terrible this game so then secondly all right you didn't man it up uh an, a, another basic part of defense that dudes don't think of and, and, and nothing i'm giving you is like od crazy it's, it's just basic information i'm giving you you go ahead and man it up which you have uh which you don't realize even with dog right here You've now left a, a open slot in your defense. Like, for it, he playing like the Braylon Miller style. I don't know if Braylon still plays like that. But remember, Braylon used to just use her random niggas in the defense. So, with, I'm, I'm just going to keep the same combo going on the field. If he's going to use her this slot guy because he can't defend the corner, I get a free release on the drag route, right? So, I can just throw this drag over and over. But because he's not making an adjustment... He just putting a band-aid on his wound. By just using this slot guy, I'm going to get the free release. Uh, these two guys are probably in purp uh, a purple in a uh, hook. So they're going to drop back initially, give up the underneath, and I can take that shit all game. I can take that all game for the rest of this game. When in actuality, if you're going to especially use the slot, Whatever whatever zone you're replacing, you need to put back on the field. You know what I'm saying? So if you use her in the takeaway, if you use her in a purple, put a purple back on the field. You know what I'm saying? Right here, he just got cooked up top because he was pressing. Especially with zero over the top hill. So even even a dude like this, like he's trying, he's adjusting uh, by himself, but he not he not really adjusting. Like his user is his adjustment. Oh, he keep throwing over here. I'm a user over here. Well, all I'm all a, all a, e even an average player. Okay, well he's user in there. So I, once he leaves, I'll just make sure I attack him in that area instead of replacing and then you know what I'm saying going from there. All right, yeah, because the part he's he's not really realizing is you're not blitzing. Like the only time there's really holes, there should be like that many holes in your coverage. Is if you're blitzing. Blitzing is naturally holes in coverage unless you're in that dollar uh, A gap. That's a four man. But even then, you can attack uh, the middle of the field. You know what I'm saying? Steal. Like right here in this quads. All right, so I'm going to where I'm using. The hole is on the left side. So where he's going? This nigga attack the middle. And he juked the living shit out of me. Oh my goodness. Oh, W user play. But the smart thing for me to be doing in that situation is going ahead and just double going right here. Put him in a purple. I can now bait this middle with a field part, take away all the extras, and no fumble. All right, that's cool. I ain't going to catch no damn picks. And then his counter to that probably should be in his right hash playing in them scene. Give me that. E, 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 E. Alright, alright, it, it is what it is, NBA. I'm trying to talk these niggas and help them be better in life, and y'all gonna cheat. Now, even, but see, and I think the biggest difference, like, as he just get an auto bounce for a tug, bro. But when we get back on defense, you'll see, even with him, he, like, he has the Braylon Miller-style defense, he don't have the thought process, though, of a Braylon Miller. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm about to show y'all what I mean. Alright, so, like, coming out, right, Remember, Braylon would sit on the most random nigga. Uh, pause. Pause. <laughs> the random, like, people on the game, bro. So, and because of that, he was sitting in pressure. So, it would be gaps, but he would be able to fill them. You know what I'm saying? he fill the gaps with his user. If I'm sending seven, six or seven, and I'm user in the corner, the far left corner, I can take away this whole left uh, field, whether it be a flat, as long as I got over the top field. When you watch, now watch this with dog. Let's see who he who he ends up using. All right, so he now he just gonna run back, and I'm just going I'm gonna hit him in the middle because if your user is if your user is just strictly 
lurking in a different part of the field, but he's not like, because a user is meant to take away multiple facets of an offense. Your user is not meant to be doing what Dog is doing. He use, His user is just taking away one route, that corner route. He just dropping back with Dog. And that's it. Right there, you see his user is in no man's land. I just got a really bad pocket again right there. But usually with a player like Braylon who plays that style of defense, his user's everywhere. He has, uh, he's sending pressure, and he has the timer in his head of where he got to cover, how long he got to be there before he bailed to the next spot, and then boom. If you if, And if you haven't made the counter, you're going to throw a pick or you're going to take a sack. You know what I'm saying? And that was kind of uh, the 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 thing for when me and Braylon actually played. I'm going to take my three. When me and him played, that was my biggest thing playing, dog. Uh, attack the opposite side of the field and, um, and just stay away from his user. Just force him to get out of the blitz in general. So I should, I should pull away in this game as we... Go further. He's thrown a couple books. I ain't been able to get them, so that always turns into touchdowns. But yeah, I think that's a that, and that's a large uh, issue with the community. Y'all watch good players like Braylon, and then y'all want to be like them, but y'all don't really like understand what they really doing. Like a lot of y'all will adapt to three four, like uh, Braylon was running or rain, and then y'all want to run it like that because the pressure is crazy. It's instantaneous pressure. But y'all don't have the user like Braylon or the backside adjustments like Rain used to have to, 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 to kind of have the hindsight to know where your opponent's going to throw the ball. You know what I'm saying? That's what made dudes uh, hella tough. With Rain, a lot of people slept on was how good Rain's defense actually was. Niggas, niggas used to get so caught up on offense and stick that they never paid attention to how crazy his, his adjustments on the back end used to be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm just only speaking on people that I play. This dude with the Brandon style defense. Yeah, he 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 got the random users, but he don't have the pressure. Like Braylon was sent seven, but then his uh, opposite side corner would be sitting in the flat. He had a deep zone over, and uh, the opposite safety he bring him down and hook him to take away the quick throw. So he was essentially just baiting you to throw the ball right where the hell in his vicinity. He would have to probably cover like two, three people maybe. And you know what I'm saying? And he wanted to force you to throw in his area. All his adjustments used to be opposite side, middle of where he was. You know what I'm saying? And it worked for them people because they understood it. A lot of people don't really understand how to play any type of facet. Like right here, this is just a blitz, bro. Just a little raggedy ass blitz. And I'm just going to throw this corner out. Could have took the underneath though. Uh, the smart route was the underneath. But I'm getting tired of taking check downs. So even with dog right here, right? You send a blitz and your user still is in no man land. You nowhere near where you should be. Nowhere near. Like right here. Where 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 dog going? He oh, I had the I was going to underneath. He running towards the corner route again. First he got caught in the middle. Run to the corner route. But you didn't need to be there. So you make an adjustment, but you don't have any real idea of where you personally need to be in your own defense. You just you just blitzing wild niggas. It's working for you because I ain't going to lie. Sometimes when you play dudes who blitz randomly, that shit works right here. I'm just going to double drag, and then I'm going to throw to this one. Because like he, first, he doesn't play the drags at all. You know what I'm saying? Drag, and drags cook man. So that was just in case it was a man blitz. Right here, I'm, I'm just going to give him essentially the same look. I got numbers on this left side, so might be able to attack dog, uh, hit this little big boy corner route. I'm always going to have a drag underneath against this guy because his user is never there. Right there, I'm trying to get my rush, hit him on the corner route. Like, cause, cause if you're playing me, and this is what I say about all the good players I play. If you playing, bro, I've only attacked you in two areas: corner route, underneath. Why haven't those been any of the areas that you tried to take away yet? Those should be your keys. You know what I'm saying for where you want to play defense at. And nothing I'm saying is od. This simple shit. I've never ever told y'all anything that y'all couldn't do. I ain't even, and that's because I, I sell all the different 
But yeah, everything I be talking to y'all about is stuff that y'all can all incorporate. It's just thinking the game through, bro. I think that now a lot of people have my. That's probably the only issue I have with uh YouTube in general when it comes to Madden. Is y'all niggas don't think y'all expect the uh, creator who posts the scheme to think for you? Like he's giving like a scheme in general is just a preset. You supposed to be able to fill in the rest of it. Let me get that. E e e e e. e, e. Are you serious? EA? But yeah, ebook. No matter how good it is it's just it's a preset use like see right there he finally hit me in the scenes i've been leaving that shit open all game because he ain't went to it but yeah it's just a preset you supposed to do all the hard work like right here he, he caught me in the scene something simple man that shit up he was looking seams the scene wasn't there and he threw a book you know what i'm saying just to make the defense easy and that'll tell you how good your opponent is you know what i'm saying like, you would thought he would have had a counter. All right, that's not there. Now I'm going here. He didn't have one. Same throw wasn't there. His ass was cooked right here. I'm trying to bait back towards this, and I'm a half a second late. I had a good, very good idea what was coming. Yeah, formation like this, I would, I'm would. i personally going to be looking at the uh, the running back uh, corner route. I'm mean, mistaken. Uh, the corner of my deep blue. Why I call the timeout. Right here, verticals. I want to take away the quick throw in the seam, so I got the vert hook right there. He ended up running it. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. All right, so trips trips right here. I'm thinking I'm playing for the RPO. I'm going to take away the seam. I got everything over the middle of the field. Good dot. Good dot. Good dot. I got match. I got glitch, my match glitch, so I had to run with that vertical the entire way through. If I didn't have to run with that, I would have baited back earlier towards that, but I didn't have no, 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 no choice. And that's just me being a hit stick whore. That's my, that's my thing. Like I'm, I, I've got, I feel like I'm close to getting stops, but I'm gonna get a stop. I don't really have to worry about that. And because he, uh, crazy with the running without making a read, he misses his touchdown. He had a good quick height. <clears throat> My W said this a long time ago. The longer the game go, if I'm the better player, I feel good. Because eventually I'll get my stop, regardless of how it comes. I'm going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Right here, steps up. Should have been another fumble. He's going to fumble. He's taking way too many hits on conservative. And I know he's on conservative because he has jukebox. Uh, bunch flex. I'm playing for the RPO and the seam streak. If he wants to go quick slant, this is why I hook my guy right there. Get the big boy hit stick. He's going to fumble. Everything right now, I'm just thinking about, depending on this formation he comes out in, I'm thinking uh, RPO. If not an RPO, then, uh, you know what I'm saying, a little quick, quick inside run. Yeah, 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 let me get that. Told you, he was going to fumble eventually, bro. If you don't get from it, little Ronnie, get the hell from it between his legs. I didn't get the pick like I wanted, but I I, I deserved it right here. This quick RPO because I just got numbers on that side, and we good money, bro. Now we can really cook. I made decent adjustments, but dog was so random. He, I ain't gonna lie, the nigga kept me on my heels this game because what a lot of y'all be like, damn, this look this look like man. I'm gonna see what he does on this right side. But a lot of y'all be like, damn, bro. Because cause realistically, you're only going to get playing a good player. You ain't going to get a shit ton of stops as I just hit him underneath again. Had the post route, but I needed it needed more time to develop. Didn't have that time. Playing a good player, one, two stops. One, for real, for real, at this point of the year, is all you need to be able to cook. Sunday's video, which I know ain't going to get a shit ton of views, is uh, and that, that I just a playmaker. The movie's user out the way. There's just gonna be a video about uh, probably the best defense to run with the new meta, and we'll talk about that because it's legit. I, I like, I genuinely believe it. Uh, RB right here on a little screen play because we ran crossers, so he dropped back to play the crossers. 
You know what I'm saying? That's that's something like you gonna catch a nigga a lot with the halfback screen uh, out of this because nobody's expecting a halfback screen from out of a quad set. They dropping back playing verticals, so it's a nice little switch up. You can't abuse it. Again, he on straight hand. Let me just take the drag underneath. Good money, uh, big boy extra yards. He made this game so simple for me to win it. I never had to change how I played this game at all. I'm going to hit the corner route or I'm hitting the underneath. I never had to do anything else. If he's back on the, like if he if he's back in the middle corner, if he's uh on one of those slot guys, I just hit the underneath right here. He on parry. Nigga, give me the underneath and we score a touchdown. This is like just make the game simple if your opponent don't know how to adjust. Like we try to be uh, y'all niggas try to be Henry too much, but hey, what do I know? Smash the like button. I'm gone. What's happening, Dougie Bone man? Uh, look, uh, you watching this game? After you watch this video, head on over to Twitch because I should be live on Twitchy Poo. Should be on live on Twitchy Poo. Uh, watch uh the la uh the single limbs for the zero chill promo. Should be live. I came here to give y'all an update on the squad. Smash the like button, man. I got to stop shooting dice with my coins, bro. I fucked up. As you can see, I'm sitting on 8 mil. What I did was I sold Adams because the new Deshaun Jackson is dropping. Uh, when y'all see the video, he should be out. He gets Raiders camp. He's going to be 95 speed on our squad. And then I bought a $1.2 million tight end on some bullshit. His route running was trash. I tried to sell the nigga back. The nigga won't sell back, man. Won't nobody take him, bro. So I'm finna take a nasty L on that, bro. I just I, I gotta shot I gotta stop shooting dice with my coins. I have to, bro. But yeah, as y'all can see, man, we got Olsen. Uh, that go my coin count right there. Woo! Uh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, squad is still the same. We picked up uh Mikey Alvic. Um, we gonna have the new DJ. I'm going to get Mackie back after this one. This this nigga sell for for nothing close to what I paid for him. So we are gonna take a nasty L on that. Defense is the same. We upgraded Hendricks. Uh, finally got a token. Got him up to a ninety. Outside of that, everything is the same. Also, I got a reaction channel. Uh, actually, I have a podcast channel, but I'm going to be uploading podcasts and reactions on that channel. Comment down with some of the videos you want me to react to. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to get to those. I'm also going to be dropping... Uh, I deleted the podcast episode I already did because I had another idea that I thought was better, but I'm definitely going to have that podcast and the uh, reactions, I'm going to try to drop those daily too. So go subscribe to the podcast channel and uh, go check out the podcast and the reactions that I already have up there. Appreciate y'all. Continue to smash that like button. I'm going to just pray that this card sells so I can get my team back popping, even though I got coins because I'm hella, hella rich. And uh, yeah, appreciate y'all boys for rocking and enjoy this video.